Okay, you tan, for this question we're being asked to find the exact perimeter of this right angled triangle. And here in the diagram we've got our triangle with unknown sides of x, x plus 3 and x plus 4. Now as is the case with most right angled triangles, we can start by thinking about Pythagoras. So we can say by Pythagoras. And we know that the um, square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So in this case, our hypotenuse is x plus 4. So x plus 4 squared will be equal to x squared plus x plus 3 squared. So to solve this question, we just need to expand and simplify this equation, solve for x, and then put x back into the various sides to then work out the perimeter. Because remember, the question isn't asking us to work out x, it's asking us to work out the perimeter of the triangle. And finding x is just step one to doing that. So let's um, expand these sides. So x plus 4 squared, we would get the first one squared being x squared plus twice the product. So 2 times 4x would be 8x plus the last one squared, 16. Then we'll have on the right hand side our x squared. Now if I expand the x plus 3 squared using the similar shortcut, we'll get the first one squared plus twice the product, so 2 times 3x would be 6x, plus the last one squared, or 3 squared is 9. Now if you don't know that shortcut, you could simply um, say in the case of x plus 4 squared, you could expand that to be x plus 4 times x plus 4, and if you expand those brackets, you will see that the shortcut does work. You could do the same thing with the x plus 3 squared if you wanted to convince yourself. Um, and then if you wanted to generalize it, you can discover that x plus any number a squared will always be the first one squared plus twice the product plus the last one squared. So that's how I've done that there. Um, so really what we end up with on the left hand side, we've got our x squared plus 8x plus 16. And on the right hand side, we have two of these x squared. So 2x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now what I might do is I'll bring everything over to, let's say the right hand side. So um, 2x squared minus 1x squared would be just x squared over here on the right. 6x minus 8x would be minus 2x, and then 9 minus 16 would be minus 7. So we'll have 0 is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 7. Now here we've got a quadratic, and we want to solve for the values of x that make this quadratic 0. Um, in, the, in terms of this quadratic, we can use the quadratic formula where we know that a being the coefficient of x, in this case is 1, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 7. So if I substitute those into the quadratic formula, I will be able to solve for x. So we can say, therefore, x is equal to, um, I'll, I'll just write the quadratic formula just as a matter of course, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and that's all divided by 2a. So that's the quadratic formula, and we simply need to substitute our a, b, and c to work out x. So I'll do that in the next step. Negative b would be negative minus 2, or plus 2. So negative minus 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, minus 4 times 1 times negative 7. And that's all going to be divided by 2 times 1. Alright, so if I clean this up a bit, negative negative 2, as I mentioned, will just be plus 2, plus or minus the square root. And now if we go to our calculator, and we'll put in negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 7, and we'll get 32 sitting under the radical. And that's all divided by 2. Now, at this point, there might be a temptation to just simply throw this into the calculator. But for this question, we need to remember that we've been asked to find the exact perimeter. So um, given there's probably a radical here somewhere that won't simplify to a whole number, 
we can't just blindly throw this into the calculator. So what I'll do is I'll clean this up a bit. Um, I'll have 2 plus or minus, and 32 I, I kind of need to know is, or notice, that that's 16 times 2. And then that will help us clean up this radical because it will become 2 plus or minus, and the square root of 16 times 2 becomes the square root of 16 times the square root of 2. And that's all divided by 2 still. And um, hopefully you know that the square root of 16 is 4 because 4 times 4 is 16. So we end up with 2 plus or minus 4 root 2 over 2. And I can divide 2 into the numerator and I'll end up with 1 plus or minus 2 root 2. Now, given we are dealing with length, whilst we do at first glance have two solutions here, Rarely we only want to take the positive solution because we're dealing with positive length. Um, so 1 minus 2 root 2 would be negative. So we're going to um, ignore x equals 1 minus 2 root 2 since we're dealing with length. Which leaves us with... Um, uh, the one solution of x we care about, so therefore we'll say x is equal to 1 plus 2 root 2. Now as I mentioned before, we don't want to stop there because that's only step 1 to solving this question. The actual question wants us to find the perimeter, so we need to find the total of x, x plus 3 and x plus 4, keeping everything in exact form. So we'll say, um, therefore, the perimeter... of the triangle is equal to x plus x plus 3 plus x plus 4. If I just simplify that quickly, we've got 3x's, so that's 3x plus 7. And now if I substitute my exact value of x, I'll have 3 times 1 plus 2 root 2 plus 7. Now I can clean this up a little bit if I just follow the, the, um, the I guess, convention that we treat radicals in a similar way to the way we treat unknowns in algebra or pronumerals. So I'll expand these brackets first and say we'll have 3 plus 6 root 2 plus 7. And then I'll collect my like terms, which are just these numbers that aren't attached to radicals. And so we'll end up with um, the perimeter being 6 times root 2 plus 10. Panic boom! There you have it. That's how you answer that question. So hopefully you were able to follow along and uh, tick boom.